Mm, check out the sell-off on Wall Street. The Dow plunging more than 100 points. According to our next guest, you ain't seen nothing yet. Here now is David Stockman, former White House budget director under President Ronald Reagan. You think this is just the beginning, that there's a big collapse coming. Why do you think that? Yes, I do. Uh, the uh, combined central banks of the world have created the most fantastic financial bubble in recorded history. Uh, when you look at 80 months of zero interest rates, and that's where we'll be, assuming they raise uh, the interest rate in September, and even that's uncertain, you have generated the most massive uh, subsidy to speculation and the carry trades yeah. that's imaginable. That's what is so bad about ZERP. Uh, that is what is so, uh, you know, destructive and counterproductive about what they're doing. You're not the only one saying this. Um, Stephen King from HSBC, their chief economist, also out with a note talking about the Titanic global economy uh, collapse that could be coming. He was talking to Neil about it earlier. Listen, I'll get your reaction on the, on the other side. One obvious danger is that um, uh, stock markets have risen too far relative to the performance of the economy. They could correct quite a long way, and that could be a trigger for a recession. That the Federal Reserve you know, finally decides to raise interest rates, we discover that the U.S. economy just isn't really strong enough to cope with it. So what goes up comes back down again, and the uh, Federal Reserve ends up with some egg on its face. So not only will they have caused this by leaving rates too low for too long, but then they won't have any ammunition on the other side if we go into a recession to then battle back because rates are completely slack. You agree with that? I agree with that. And uh, they have defined inflation incorrectly. Yes, there is a low amount of goods and services inflation and for good reason. There has been so much massive overinvestment in the world economy for the last seven or eight years because of the central bank financial repression and ultra low interest rates and cost of capital that we have huge excess capacity in the world. So, of course, there isn't uh, consumer inflation. Instead, what we've had is massive, unrelenting financial asset inflation. Right. And uh, as a result of that, we have booby-trapped the financial system of the world with all kinds of speculative mountains that can blow at any time. And One example, uh, you know, with the trouble we had with subprime mortgages, there were only 1.4 trillion outstanding at the time the crisis began in March 2007. In the last three years, by contrast, we have issued in the U.S. alone three trillion of new junk bonds of uh, leveraged loans and CLOs. Meanwhile, All... meanwhile, hang on. Christine Lagarde says she's not done yet. Listen to this. What we are seeing in the, the data, particularly on inflation, is that the pickup is very slow. And we believe that there is a, a good argument to actually defer until early 2016 any rate hike. There you go, David. Yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna, keep, she's gonna double down on what Yeah, exactly. Saying. I mean, she has no idea what she's talking about. Everywhere in the world, there's clear evidence that uh, there are financial bubbles in the junk bond market, in the real estate market, Equities. in the stock market, in biotech, in social media. Uh, look at even the broad market. It's trading at 20 times uh, trailing reported uh, net income, the highest level uh, that we've seen uh, except for 2000, and we know where that went. Yeah. So how can they be so blind to what's going on in the financial market? The answer is they're all Keynesian. Uh, you're right about you know, that. You're right you know. about that. we got to run. David, thank you so much. I hope you come back soon. Thank you. Very good.